on this video right here, I want to really show people the importance of 822 because I don't want people to think that, you know, I'm pulling their leg about the importance of 822, you see, and that they are aligning things up on that date because this represents, not just only represent, but it is the birth of the Christ consciousness, which is all of our births, okay? And I'm going to show you how and why that is. All right. So the thing is, first that we need to look at is this. A lot of people think that the beginning of the year, or not the beginning of the year, a lot of people think that the Zodiac period starts at March. Now, this is the beginning of the year, but this ain't the beginning of the Zodiac wheel. And this is where they're tricking everybody at. This is a very important date. It represents the physical birth, okay? And we're finna get into all that right now. So springtime represents everything being born and light being born inside of physical bodies, okay? That's what springtime represents. It represents you being born onto this earth and getting ready to take that walk through the light, around this wheel, through the life, back into the underworld. So let's get into how this works. 822, this point right here, is actually the beginning of the Zodiac Wheel, especially when you're dealing with uh, ages, okay? We follow the sun, we follow the sun in order to know what age we're in, or we also follow the sun in order to know what age you are, year by year, right? So, uh, Aries is a earthly yearly checkpoint like you know how old you are how old something is and then leo which is 822 is a yearly checkpoint for the ages which is we know that you keep up with the ages by following the sun right so that's why leo which is the summertime which is the capstone of the pyramid is a yearly checkpoint for the ages and Aries is a yearly checkpoint for the earthly age. Like how old you are or how old something is. You see what I'm saying? And they both are relative to each other. But there is a small difference there. And that's what I'm showing you guys here. So what this represents right here on 822, as you know, like I showed you guys on the other video, the pyramid have eight pieces to it with two pieces on each side representing 822 marking off this spot for the ages okay period we go around this pyramid 822 each year for 2600 years all the way till we get to the point of it right now 822 2020 okay this is the first entry of light right here leo is the number five number five represents the center of something like from one to ten even though we got 12 signs here but from 1 to 10, 5 represents the center of something. And that's why you got the sun in the center putting a light ray in each house, letting you know the house that you see the full sun in is a checkpoint for the ages. And that's 822. Just like I showed you, this have eight pieces with two pieces on each side representing 822, marking off this very spot right here. You see what I'm saying? Automatic. This right here is the checkpoint for the ages. And this is the checkpoint for the earthly years, okay? So now that we got that understood, now let's look at this in the form of the birth now. Starting with the star, the sun, in the center of the pyramid. Precisely because we know that things start from the center, okay? So that's where the zodiac will start at. It will start at the center with the sun. So the star of the sun that aligns with the top of the pyramid, right? Uh, it's being born, it's delivering the light right here first to be born inside of organic matter, which is the mother, in order to get a body to be born in springtime. Now that way that work is the light comes in here first, right? As you see, this is house number five which is the sun. This is the only only house that got the sun in it. The sun also sits in the middle 
and also give a ray, a sun ray, into each house, letting you know that the sun is the central to each house, okay? And that's why the sun is at number five, because number five represents the center of something from one to five, okay? Which represents the light, the atom, or the star, or the soul, or the Taurus field being born, okay? So, this 822, which is also the summer, which is also the capstone of the pyramid, is the first entry of light to be born into physical matter, which is right here, you got the Virgin Mary, right? Now, once this light goes into the Virgin, she makes a replica body for that light, okay? So, she makes a carbon copy body for that light. Once she do that, inside of the body, the light go through transformations inside of the darkness, okay? And that will be this side of the wheel right here while the body is going through those transformations from this partnership that happened. And then you got life and death taking place here, right? And this also have Pluto representing with the uh, Scorpio, right? So Pluto is the planet of transformation. So this light is inside of her darkness going through transformation, which is life and death. This uh, foreigner's religion, he have the arrow, which is really supposed to be a rainbow and the spear represents the spear with a little light at the tip of it. I know it's not showing that picture, but that's how it really go. The light is at the tip of it. And he have the rainbow shooting that light rainbow spectrum into the waters. Okay. And that's why you have Capricorn here with a mermaid tail. Letting you know he just shot this light into the waters to be a reincarnated. To start the process of reincarnation and gaining the structure from the transformation that he's going through. You see? And once he gain, start beginning to gain that structure, he start organizing that light within that structure. And after he organized that light within that structure, which is his dreams and subconscious that's doing that, because his dreams and subconsciousness is those electromagnetic waves that come from the light that is born. And here go the child born right here from this situation that took place right here, from these two right here. And this is the spirit's will, the soul's purpose. And the soul's purpose is what? The will, the will to live. You see what I'm saying? That's the soul's purpose. And this is the will, not just the zodiac will, but it's God's will, which is the will of the stars. You see what I'm saying? And this is all about the light being born. The pyramid, which is the point of her period, where she can deliver birth and light. But as the body goes through those transformations, the baby is born here. Okay? So right here, it didn't have no body. It was just light. She gave it a body. It went through the transformation. It came out head first because that's what came out of the mother's womb first, right? The mother, the, what comes out the mother's womb first is the head, right? So then she have the child, which is springtime, which represents the physical birth. So that makes this the first entry or the first birth of the physical birth. This is the first birth of the light before it went through the transformation to get a physical body to have the sun heart inside of it. You see what I'm saying? Because the Aries also represents the sun bringing in the sun from the underworld, right? So bringing you into this life as the child. But how did this child even get here? This child got here from the first entry of light into the mother. You see what I'm saying? So once that light goes into that mother, we got to understand that when that child is born, then he goes through his life, right? This is the little story that goes with it. Then he goes through his life. He gets a little older. He gets wealth. And then he want to share that wealth with someone, right? Which would be his wife, significant other. And they have, uh, right here it says, a communication. Well, they have a communication, which is a communion, a union, a unity, a duality, right? And they're having this duality in order to make someone new arrive, Okay. So when him and her come together, husband and wife say, they have their honeymoon, right? Which is going to create their home and their family, 
which is this is the moon, the honeymoon. And then During this honeymoon, as you can see, their duality right here, right? So this is a polar energy happening right here. This is the sun and the moon polarized in order to make this birth possible. And in their honeymoon, you know, they're consummating their marriage. So what's going to happen is he's going to put his solar phallic energy, phallic energy, into the mother and let her make a replica body for that light and then a new child will be born right here. Okay? So, you know, what I'm going to show you guys right along with that is that too, is that this part where the light is entering at is the summertime, which is 822. So this is the capstone of the pyramid because this is the time where most of the light, the life, the energy get pushed upon the earth to be born inside of organic matter again, whether it be plants, humans, animals, insects, no matter what it is. You see what I'm saying? And this is the capstone of the pyramid, which the capstone of the pyramid represents the female's womb, okay, where the sun aligns with the point of the pyramid, just like he aligns with the point of her pyramid. So, so a woman's vagina is shaped like the pyramids, right? You also see the split right here, and then you see the lines right here on a woman, right? Well, that's what she have right there. And when you put this solar phallic energy in her, you got to put it in her before she reach her period, right? Because once she reach her period, she reach her point, which is the point of the pyramid, which is where she's able to deliver the light, the life, a newborn baby, the light into Aries to walk this earth with a sun heart in his physical chest. You see what I'm saying? So... Her period, you have to get her pregnant before she reached that point. So when she when she's reaching that point, that point would be her designing the body for the baby, the light. You see what I'm saying? So once again, it can walk as the Aries onto this earth. You see? And like, you know, I know I showed you guys him growing up and him having the baby and everything right, right here. But as... He, him and her have this new child right here. They get older and they go in the underworld in order for this process to happen to them again too. You see? So I hope you guys understand how I'm showing that here. You know, this pyramid actually represents giving birth to the light. So this is the first entry of light. This is the first birth. Being plant, planted as light as a light seed inside of the woman, okay? That's the first birth. And this is the second birth. Actually coming out of the woman head first as the Aries. You see? And so you guys don't be confused because I had to just explain it the way I explained it, you know, so I won't get it all confused, but I showed you guys in the number eight, the Christ consciousness being born, right? Okay, well, there's a first birth this is the Christ consciousness being born right here, which was, was the number eight I showed you guys, right? Which you also can include these transformation states right here into it too, right? And this is the birth of the Christ consciousness, meaning the birth of the light, the transformation phase. You see what I'm saying? And then here go the actual physical birth with the light inside of the body now walking the earth. All right? So I, I wanted to let you guys know the difference between that because I didn't want you guys to look at my old video and say, oh, well, he said that this was the the, the the birth of the Christ consciousness. And, well, what I want you guys to see that, yeah, this is the birth of the Christ consciousness. This is the birth of the light. This is the birth of the light inside of the physical body. Okay? So there's a difference there. One, 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 one birth, two births. You see what I'm saying? There's two insertations, two entry phases. One entry phase into the woman, the next entry phase onto the earth. You see what I mean? And this is the Christ consciousness. And this is why they're aligning everything mainly with 822. Because they're trying to control the birth. And just to throw in there real quick, um, the new situation that came out with Daniel Prude, 
they put a bag over his head and pretty much choked him out. Well, that happened in March, on March 23rd, I believe to be exact. Yeah, it was happened March 23rd. And they're just now releasing it right after 822, maybe like September 1st or September 2nd. They put a bag over his head. I'm put his name up here. But that was the Aries time. Okay? So they want to align the Aries with the birth because the Aries hold the head and the heart. You see what I'm saying? Because to control this birth, you're going to have to control the Aries, which is the second entry. And you're going to have to control the uh, uh, 822, which is the first entry of birth. You see what I'm saying? In other words, they got to control the, the spiritual, emotional, mental birth versus the physical birth. You see? So they got to control your mind and your body, in other words. You know? So that's why they're trying to connect these things together when they're trying to get us and our juices flowing to make us go out of control so they can bring in the new world order and martial law.